one two one two good morning good evening or good afternoon folks sorry my hat's a bit wonky um i'm at yew tree farm which is just outside Beaudley. it's a uh, you can see the sign there it's a caravan park before any say any more don't forget to like and subscribe i'm over here with a camping and caravan club on a on a rally <laughs> it's a bit windy it's a uh, it's a pg the photography group rally they're a friendly uh, bunch uh, i used to be a member but because uh, i'm working most weekends i don't really go on many rallies so uh anyway i'm here on the rally uh hope everyone's safe and well it is a lovely site here there's a pub down the road which i'll probably show you later you can get the bus into Bewdley and ludlow from here i understand well no pretty certain anyway uh they've got a so they i've got this rally on but because um of the covid then it should have been the festival of photography but they're not um having that on now uh there is a big uh, building here behind me if you do book a rally here you can have the use of this building we'll understand that we're not uh, because of um, the restrictions but now they've been lifted I would have thought we'd have been all right but uh, yeah so you can see behind me this is the building here folks so uh yeah so i'm going to do probably be a couple of uh videos from here uh i'm just going to do a little pan round so you can see it's called the yew tree just there anyway i'll show you around a bit folks follow me follow me folks that's the sign for the uh, photography group. I mean, there's a nice bench over there in loving memory of Anthony Penn. There's a couple of phone boxes there. I'm not sure if they're in use. You can get gas here, folks. It's a one-way system when you come in. Uh, I'm just going to do a little shot round. Yeah, I'll uh, just show you where the uh, toilets and Alson is. Follow me. For here, folks, there's a laundry there. Obviously, it's closed at the moment, and you've got toilets here which are closed. But I understand they're supposed to be open now. And there's the Alson there. I'm not going to give you a demo of me emptying my toilet. This is the field that we're in. Uh, no children beyond that point there folks so I was allowed uh, yeah so there's quite a few here just going to do a little pan round I'm parked at the top I'll show you where in a sec uh, yeah so this is the uh, rally field folks follow me there's my wheels parked up there. I've got electric this weekend, so I've got my electric kettle. Uh, I've got my electric grill. I've got my electric heater. Uh, everything. I'm all electric this weekend, folks. I'm going to get make get my money's worth. So uh, yeah. So there's my wheels. There. I may put me all in up. Not the awning, the pop-up gazebo in a bit. So uh, follow me, folks. Follow me. Bob, Bob Morph. He's very famous, folks. If you don't know him, famous you do Morph. know, you know. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so a little pan round. The gate there, folks, which you can go out of that gate and that'll take you up to the pub, like a little village. And the bus stops. Uh, 
and so it's a lovely view over there I'm going to check the OS map to see where the walks are uh, yeah it's drying up now should be a good weekend follow me hi folks uh, welcome to my motorhome I'm going to do a little tour of the motorhome now you've got to remember that being a single chap it doesn't have the woman's touch because very occasionally when I meet up with some of my friends sometimes I call them the sheep but that's just a joke when I go in their caravans they're immaculate there's not a thing out of place it doesn't matter how hard I try to tidy up I can never get the same uh, touch as a woman's touch but ayo one of them things so it's raining at the moment but the sun's out uh, I've got my little wired uh, mic on at the moment so uh, just save getting the wireless one out I'm all set up I've got the uh, I've got my microwave or Megatron as I call it from home well I've got two microwaves as you know I have two of everything and uh, Ray actually gave me this uh, microwave originally for the uh, motorhome cheers for that Ray but uh, I opened mine up and it was a bit of an MOT failure the floor had gone rotten in it so I decided to keep it at home and just bring it along when I'm somewhere on mains electric like today so uh, yeah so I'm all set up I've got the uh, Van Gogh grill set up uh, uh, I'm all on uh, electric so I'm not going to use any gas because a lot of people I speak to they go on electric and I've said this before and uh, I say oh I used you know 10 quid worth of gas when I was away well if you're on electric there's no need to really put your gas on oh I like the kettle like to boil the kettle like it but use the electric one I mean I've got hot water, that's another story, I've got hot water at home but it's on the uh, combi boiler, when you turn the tap on it takes ages for it to come through, here it's instant hot water, it's just safe for now. Um, yeah so I'm fully uh, on electric so I won't be opening the gas bottle up this weekend. I've got the grill inside at the moment, if the weather perks up I'm going to put my gazebo up outside and I'll put the grill in there but uh, <laughs> the van's rocking well you can come knocking because uh, it's just the wind folks so anyway I'm going to show you around the uh, camper now so excuse the mess folks follow me follow me folks the seats swivel round folks here I've got this table I put this in with a pole myself uh, so looking above you've got a skylight so that's the sort of front end of the camper um, yeah so I'm going to swing rain now entrance I've got a bit of stuff in them containers there I'll keep going to tidy them up and I think well I need that need this uh, I've got a, quite a few hats there because I'm always keeping an hat on um, I've got carpets down because when I when you're away you're always in a field or somewhere and you can throw the carpets away or I put these in the washing machine so you've got a little wardrobe there you've got a fridge down there you've got a full grill and cooker there but I've got the uh, hot plate on there at the back there's a little ladder comes down there's a double bed and I've got a few more coats hanging there. Follow me, folks. Just a quick shot of the toilet department, folks. There. Got me in the shop for a change. Well, I've got me twin as well. Hi, Roy, how you doing? Hope you have better look on the dating site than me. That's another story. Yeah, it's got a shower on here. The only thing with that shower is the handle is just inside there and occasionally I've been caught out when I've come in with my cameras around my waist uh, and it's I've stood there and <laughs> suddenly I've got soaked anyway so that's the uh, toilet departmento folks it's got all spotlights in the ceiling very nice 
Ay -o, ay -o. Recently, folks, is off. Keep losing the remote control, so I've fitted that in there. I've got a few in different places to uh, hold the controls. There, I've put some around to, so I can stick my phones on as well. So, follow me, folks. Hey, folks, thanks for joining me on the tour of the motor. And basically, it's a four berth motor. Uh, you've got a double bed at the back. This makes into two singles here, or you can have it as another double if you want to. The heating on this, it's a diesel heater normally, but it's electric this weekend if I need it. It's quite warm at the moment, um, uh, which is really good because, uh, again, gas is quite expensive. I have got a, a, a refillable gas bottle, which uh, it costs about nine pounds an hour to fill up against 30 with a normal gas bottle. The beauty is that when you're going away, you can just pull up at uh, uh, the stations. They do, this, they're getting a bit scarce, but you can still get it. And uh, you might need to put a pound in, two pound in. You can always just fill it up. So uh, you've always got a full bottle. I've got a spare one. I have two of everything, but that's a normal gas bottle just in case. So, yeah, so it's great. Um, so it's now Thursday um, afternoon. This will be on probably on Sunday. So I hope you've all had a nice weekend, but it hasn't happened yet. Uh, I have done some videos in the week. I was a bit ahead, so they're going to be going on. So I hope you've enjoyed all the videos. So anyway, that's enough of me rattling on for now, folks. Thanks for joining me and uh, we'll chat in a bit. Bye for now, folks. Bye. Hi, folks. Uh, just a quick shot. I've got the Van Gogh grill on. And I've got my breakfast uh, going on there. It's really good. It's, you can just wipe it clean. Or oh, you've got like a little drain there. When you want to wash it, you can tip it straight in to your sink. It's, uh, it's brilliant. So, uh, yeah, so if you're on the electric uh, hookup, why waste your gas? Uh, again, if a lot of people have got their barbecues, they get out and use them. Yeah, this is a uh, perfect uh, cost for £24. Absolutely brilliant. I got it from Winfields, Fecknum, where I live. It's, uh, it's really good. Anyway, catch you in a bit, folks. Got my egg on, folks, now. Um, yeah, I might have to take a picture of this and put it on the date inside. I'm fully ace trained. Still won't do me any good. Anyway, yeah, breakfast is cooking well. Um, I did do a burger on there yesterday. I forgot to video that, but I will later. It's really good. I've got the window open, so all the uh, sort of fumes are going outside. It's too windy to put me gazebo up. It's been a rough night with the wind but ayo I'm a soldier I'll be okay catch you in a bit folks follow me yeah breakfast served folks uh, I don't have this every day but it's a treat normally porridge but ayo I'm on holiday so you've got to have a treat follow me folks hi folks uh, it's day two here at Yew Tree Farm campsite. I've just had my breakfast and I must say I know I cooked it myself but it was absolutely lovely. I uh, I had a wrap which I put on that grill just to toast it. I'd done that with a burger bun yesterday and uh, it was absolutely brilliant. Um, the people that know me, uh, the family, <laughs> one or two friends because I say I'm a bit of a loner they know I'm a very fussy eater what I eat um, I don't know why I'm like that but uh, that's another story so I'm trying to get my microphone over this way a bit but thanks for joining me on the little trip uh, 
it was a really windy night now in this motorhome I've got a fixed bed at the top which normally my daughter Olivia sleeps in there because when we viewed the camp about five years ago when we walked in Olivia said that's my bed dad so I've been resorted to the single bed or you can make it into a double well it was okay up there but the skylight in the night the wind was blowing it was howling and you know making a noise kept waking me up and uh, the other thing that happened which well nearly happened was the tv i was hoping there's a telly up there but i set it all up last night no point boring you folks but uh, thanks for joining us on this i had a knock on the door I thought it was someone from the date inside, but it was just the wind. That's another story. But anyway, I set the telly all up. And I went to plug the aerial in because I thought there was an aerial point up there and there weren't. So that was a waste of time. So I was in bed and I was watching a program called First Dates. I've applied to go on that, but I got rejected. Hey yo. Anyway, so I was watching First Dates. So I tilt the telly round, but I have to get sort of like halfway down the bed to uh, see the telly so anyway I must have sort of nodded off and I got the remote control here and I had my finger on the button ready to turn it off so anyway I've stretched my foot out and I thought what the hell is that at the bottom of the bed well, I thought I was lay fully on the bed but I weren't I was trying to kick I thought, oh, Olivia must have left something up here, you know. I was trying to kick something, and it turned out it was the window at the, at the back of the motor, and there's a blind, and there's a window there, and I was trying to kick kick the window out. So luckily, before I give it a good boot, uh, I realised what the problem was. So anyway, I O, that's another story. So at least the wind has still survived. But it was a windy night, so I've had my breakfast. I've got a coffee... I got my laptop just here uh, next to me so as a rule I don't put a drink down on the table when I've got the laptop on there I've only done it once and the, I forget I had some pop and I looked at the laptop and the water it was running down I thought oh that's all right the laptops with these Apple Macs they look like they're sealed but I looked under it and there's all these like vents so I had to quickly pick it up so as much as i you know try and be careful with it i've also got this uh red matting you can get it in all different colors it's like a non-slip i've got that on there because i have got it once and i just touched the laptop and it slid straight off the table so that's another little thing i do and uh yeah i've got the internet off the phone it's not too bad so i can uh I can check the date inside, but that's a waste of time. And plus, I can check uh, my emails and different things, check the YouTube channel, etc. Anyway, that's enough of me rattling on. So, uh, I will uh, hopefully. Well, so I've got a message, it's my sister. I sent her a picture of my breakfast. Now, Shirley will always comment and say, uh, I prefer my egg. A different way. I like my bacon a bit. This. Uh, I'll see what she says anyway. Uh, but I say it was a lovely breakfast, and uh, it's now um, what day is it? Uh, Friday. This probably be going on Sunday night when I get back home. So again, I hope you've all had a nice weekend, folks, and thanks for joining me in the motorhome. So anyway, we'll catch you in a bit. Well, I don't know what my adventure's going to be today. But something will happen, I'm sure. Follow me, folks. Follow me. Hey, folks. Just got the grill on. So uh, I've got a burger and it's a beef like kebab. These are from Morrison's. They're very nice. So uh, I'll show you another clip after it's cooked a bit. Follow me, folks. Follow me. Folks. All cooking well on the grill. Follow me. Toasting the baps as well, folks. Follow me.
great job of toasting me burger baps folks follow me folks now all i've got to do is i've got some uh, a cheese slice to go on my burger and also i've got some of this uh, chili sauce to go on and i'm ready for me nosh up follow me yes sir uh, dinner is served folks follow me hi folks uh yeah there's the uh my end result of me cooking so i'm fully house trained but still don't be any good when i put down the date inside but i oh perhaps i'll have to go onto the uh dog's trust put myself on there yeah so i've got a burger and a like a beef kebab they're from morrison's cooked on the grill it's cooked them absolutely 100 percent perfect and uh, I say normally you'd have to gas on, gas barbecue outside. Well, obviously, if you, I am usually wild camp a lot where I go, I don't have electric, but um, if you've got it, you know, use it. So, anyway, folks, uh, this is going to be the end of the video now. Now, what you're going to be watching now is my arrival yesterday. A bit round the campsite uh, here and uh, in the motorhome and then me having me breakfast and uh, me evening meal. Uh, I have done a video to follow this on a walk which was really nice and then I've got the bus to Ludlow which I've done a walk around. I haven't edited that video I'm going to do that next so all i've got to say is don't forget to like and subscribe give me the thumbs up wherever you are far forest that's where, that's where i am um usa australia you could be anywhere mexico my broy still down there um you know back in redditch england wherever thanks for watching and uh, i'll catch you on the next video folks bye for now bye bye folks bye